Well, hello, YouTube. So, um, for today's review, I'll be I'll be uh, doing some um, special. It'll be different, but I think you guys will like it. It's TOK Voyager Class Optimus Prime. So, um, this figure was my very first uh, Transformers 5 figure, and I was very pleased with him. I got him as soon as he came out. I got him from the Hasbro Toy Shop website on eBay, but sadly... This figure is unavailable on that website now. So, I mean, if you don't have this figure, you gotta go to great lengths to get them. But anyway, going to him, he uh, is like he was in Age of Extinction. This is the Voyager Class Optimus Prime for Age of Extinction that we wanted that we did not get. And I'm happy we got it because it's a good figure. But anyway, he has got the uh, plastic tires and. Really, if you're not looking at it, the only thing that I'm, that's on the bottom that looks like Robot is his feet and his hands. And that's it. It's a very good figure. But anyway. Rolls. As rolling things should. So, for a comparison, I have got Age of Extinction Invasion Mode Optimus Prime. So now I have both of these, which I'm happy about. So, uh, as you know, this cab is way shorter, like, this is a smaller truck, I think, so, I'm not really sure how these guys are supposed to scale, but, there you go, and now, I've got his Legion Class version, which is not like what he looked in the movie at all, here he is with his tiny turbo changer version, and then, moving on to the big guns, the Jada Diecast Metal version of himself. So, there you go. Yeah, you can see the... Ugh, everything else. Anyway, uh, let me move this back over here. There we go. So, this guy's huge. It's really big. Nice chrome stuff on him. Get out of here. And he does have the rubber tires. Anyway, that's a big figure. Anyway, here he is. So, for, uh, weapon storage, he comes with a short, a sword and shield. So, the shield will go inside the trailer hitch, and the sword will just go on this little section down here. And that stores, you can jump them around, fold the shield in like that, and there you go. Everything stores on them. So, let me take this off because, as you've seen in other things, I don't use these. Because I've got the Dr. Wu upgrade kit with the giant sword and the giant shield. So, just for a comparison, here's the original sword. And how it stacks up with this one. Here's the original shield. How it stacks up with this one. And I'll get more into uh, these guys later, but I'm just showing off vehicle mode storage. So, this one, plug into the trailer hitch the exact same way, but it does not turn around because it's too big. So, just keep that back there. And then the sword goes in the exact same way. And he still rolls and doesn't affect anything at all, which is great. Now, I am going to try something. I think if you fold in the barrel, that's a feature for later. Now, stick that in right there. Nope, it ain't work. It won't work. Anyway, as you can see, this does uh, do some special off the wall. But anyway, for to transform him, you just got to take these parts off. And uh, I did make a custom gun for him, which I think looks great. And that can also plug in there. And you can turn it around, too. Alright. That's all for accessories. So, to transform him, you need to take the canopy off. It's on this double hinge. Like that. It'll just come up like that. Next, open up these side sections that are just tabbed in. And bring them around like that. And fold them in. Next. There's also an Autobot symbol right here. You can't see it very well, but you need to grab that section, pull that forward, split it, take these two sections off that form his hands and arms, 
and separate them out. Next, pull these two pieces off like that. They'll just separate. Release! Release Optimus. Release! Thank you. And then there's a little tab right here that will go in there. So you just bring it down, move these parts out of the way, untab this, and flip around the trailer hitch section. And they are on ball joints, and they will pop off if you're not careful. But they'll just snap right back on and fold them around. Now, you need to fold down his foot, rotate it around, there's a little tab slot in here. Just, it's going to go like that. Next, you need to bring this section down, and it will fold around. Now, you need to lift this section up and just fold it around until it tabs in right there. There's a leg. So, second verse, same as the first, as Imgo says. Again, if you're watching, please don't flag me. I'm sorry, but I like the stuff that you do. There we go. Now we've got his bottom section. Next, you need to raise this up. And he is a tall figure. Angle the camera. So now, we need to rotate and bring down his crotch plate. There you go. Next, bring these sections back where these two tabs are facing. Bring the section down right there. And that little wedge will just go in and it will tab in to those two slots. There you go. Next, bring the arms around like that. Untab these sections. Bring them forward like that. Bring them down. And just push them back and they will tab in. Bring these little flaps down on his arm. Tab them in. I am stopped up, sorry. Now you need to lift up his head. And bring the section in. Before I do that, I do have a uh, custom matrix. I mean, I just wanted to give him something. And that just goes in like that. And don't lock in. Push that in. Bring these sections up. There you go. Oops, don't need to see that. You need to see the review space. Alright, so let me, let me position him to where he will stand up for me. I don't know why he's standing lopsided. Don't stand like that. Stand up. Thank you. Anyway, zoom back and push him back and angle the camera up some more because this figure's tall. Uh, so now... I'm going to give him his sword. Holds it very nicely. And his shield. It does have the tri-barrel. I'll just plug into his arm. I need to lift this section up and bring it around. Like that. Stick it like that. Take this piece, rotate the sword around, and have him looking over here. With his shield like that, and I like to do that. And then he can hold his gun in his hand. Now he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine barrels to shoot out of. And there you go. A very nice figure. Cheetah. You face your motor. Anyway. Alright. So. There he is. Now for the shield accessory, what you need to do to transform it is just take these two side pieces and they will come and they will fold out like that. And then you need to rotate it down like that, fold in the gun barrel, it will tab in and bring it back out. And now you have his extended shield. They did make this look like this and they also had a die cast metal version or it was just painted silver, I'm not sure which. It looked better, but this one just matches with the overall figure for some reason. But anyway, that's just me. That is a very cool feature, how it extends out like that. And I got this set off of eBay for 27 bucks. I had to pay f as much for the sword and shield as I did have to pay for the Optimus figure. 
price for me wasting my money, but oh well, I bought that because I wanted it, and it makes it look great. So, I'm going to pause right here, and I will be back with comparisons. Alright, and now with back for some pair- <sighs> can't talk words. Now I'm back with some comparisons for this guy. So, first we have his Age of Extinction counterpart holding his, o his old sword in shield. I cannot talk today, I'm so sorry. Anyway, here he is. And they are basically the same size. So they stack up well together. Anyway, let me get this guy out of here. Now for a tiny comparison. Don't look at your fallen brother. Or yourself. Anyway, here he is with his Legion class self and his tiny turbo changer version. So, anyway. Fix that. Alright. Let me see if I can zoom out really quick. Just get this whole guy in shot because he's so cool. Let me see if I can do camera shaking. Now, before I end off, there is one feature that you can do with a sword. So, you take it, and if you look, there is a sheath in his back. Take that, if I can give his gun to him on this side. Plug it into his hand. Close his shield up. Bring it down. And now he's in that heroic stance pose, which I think that looks great. So, I'm going to end it off here. So this has been the Transformers Reviewer saying thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and slap that bell for more notifications for more videos. And um, I will be having a channel update this week, maybe next week. Um, but... My stop motion video of the Seekers and a green screen test was just uploaded before this. So, hope you enjoy that. And if you haven't watched it, please do. Um, so, as I said, this is me signing off. Goodbye.